Hello guys, Mr. Phobia here. Hope you're all doing well. Today I've put a build together. In the last week I put a build together. What's good for conflict and good for PvE. You get a lot of uh, SMG damage. Armor on kill. If you like my content guys, like and subscribe. And let's get straight into the video. Okay, so our main piece of gear is the backpack. The exotic ninja bite messenger backpack. Core attribute. You get a red 15% weapon damage, blue core, and a skill tier. And the attribute is 11.2% critical hit damage mod. And the talent, if you don't have this yet, is resourceful, slots in with any equipped gear set and or brand set item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking the gear set's bonus. Can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously. So our first piece of actual gear is the mask. The hunter's mask, we're using the Hunter's gear set, we're using three piece, and because we're using Ninja, we'll unlock Apex Predator. So, the gear set Hunter's Fury, two pieces 15% shotgun damage and SMG damage, three pieces 20% armor on kill and 50% health on kill, and the fourth piece is Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times, which is a hell of a lot of damage. Core attribute is a blue core, attributes are 12% crit click damage, and the mod is 11.6% crit click damage. Our second piece of Hunter's Fury is the holster. I've rolled it to a blue core, the attribute is 12% crit click damage as well. Our third and final piece of Hunter's Fury is the gloves, a blue core, 12% crit click damage. And then our knee pads, we're using a piece of electric. If you want to put this build together guys, this will take a while to farm for all these pieces. Uh, the core attribute is a blue, default that's a skill tier so it's hard to get. Attribute is 5.5% crit click chance and 10.4% crit click damage, you can max those out. But because we have two piece electric, we'll unlock the third bonus because the ninja will have 30% SMG damage. So the chest piece we're using is a piece of electric as well, our second piece. Core attribute is a blue. Attributes are 6% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and the mod is 6% critical hit chance. And the talent that I've got is obliterate, critical hit, increase total weapon damage by 1% for 10 seconds, stacks up to 25 times. I just farmed for this because obliterate I like more than companion because I want to uh, use my skills. My skills are the banshee and the fire sticky because you can't have them following you around because that's what the perfect talent is for in electric. It's perfect companion but my the skills that I'm using don't follow me around so it won't work for, for my playstyle. I prefer to use the banshee balls and the fire sticky bomb guys so I picked obliterate. So the primary weapon I'm using is the Ouroboros Exotic SMG. You can use the Lady Death as well if you don't have this gun. But uh, the core attributes are 15% SMG damage, 21% critical chance, and 10% damage to targets out of cover. And the talent, if you don't have this gun yet, is Rule the More. When the agent has a status effect applied to them, 50% of ammo in their next magazine will apply the same status effect to their targets. This effect will only occur during combat. And those are the mods you get with this exotic. And the secondary I'm using is the M870 Express shotgun. Because you get 15% shotgun damage from Hunter's Fury. So we have 15% shotgun damage, 11% damage to armor, and 10% damage to toxic cover. And the talent is Optimist. Weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. And then the mods are crit chance. Then our third weapon is the named pistol uh, called the Orbit. Uh, core attributes are 15% pistol damage, 10% damage to target cover. And the talent is perfect finisher. Swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% critical hit chance and 40% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. And those are the mods. I use this in conflict like against people's skills when they throw like a, a tier 1 skill hive down like bleed hive or anything just shoot it with your pistol and you'll get loads more damage loads more crit chance so our first skill that I'm using is the banshee pulse 
you get this when you have the gunner specialization equipped we're only tier 1 because we get a skill tier from the ninja bike and we're using the mods from the specialization second skill I use is the burn sticky bomb uh, tier 1 because we only have a tier from the backpack like I said and those are the mods I'm using this is the overall build guys so we have ninja and we have three piece hunter's fury so because we have the ninja we will unlock the fourth piece so we don't have to run four pieces of hunters we have apex predator and then we have two piece electric and because we have two we'll unlock the third bonus which is 30 percent smg damage which is a lot of damage so we have 30% from Electric, 15 from Hunter's Fury, that's 45%. And we get it from Specialization as well, that's 15, that's 60%, and then 15 from the actual SMG. So uh, that's a hell of a lot of damage, guys, you get. You can use the Lady Death, of course, if you want to. Damage targets out of cover, I'd recommend. But I'll show you the stats now. So we have 58.5% crit click chance, 136.2% crit click damage for the Ouroboros. Switch to the shotgun, 37% crit click chance, 126% crit click damage. Same with a pistol. So if we scroll down. All weapons damage bonus, 45%. And then 75% SMG damage. 30% shotgun damage because we get... 15 from Hunters and 15 from Specialization. And then armor on kill, we get half a million. Our armor is 1.8 million. Uh, so if you kill somebody and then finish them on the floor, you'll get 500,000 armor, which is good out of 1.8. So 30% armor on kill. We get 20 from the Hunter's Fury and we get 10% from Gunner Specialization. So you've got a bit of survivability with this build as well, and tons of damage guys. I'll scroll down the rest for him. So the specialization we're using is the gunner. The reason we're using gunner is because of the bounty pulse. You can spa change the specialization how you like, but if you do change it, you'll lose the bounty pulse, and you'll lose the 10% armor on kill that you get. That you get here, killing enemies grant 10% armor, and then the med kit's decent as well, 30% bonus armor. We get 15% SMG damage, 15% shotgun damage, and 15% sidearm damage. And uh, if you get a kill, for example, you'll get rate of fire increases by 5% on kill for 5 seconds. And remember, guys, Hunter's Fury, when you get a kill, you'll get extra damage because it. Um, Give you amplified damage and you'll get 5% amplified damage for your SMG or your weapon and it'll stack up to 25% that's a lot of damage but uh, this is the build that I've been using guys let me know what you think of the build in the comments thanks for watching and happy hunting